from the Tribune News Network. This is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Tuesday's top stories. While the government and health officials continue to battle the third wave of the coronavirus, Bahamas Power and Light officials are trying to explain the recent outages here in the capital, asking the public to bear with them. Company chairman Dr. Donovan Moxie on what led to the most recent situation. There was a uh, disruption on one of our uh, substations. And so what ended up happening is that that particular fault propagated through the entire network. It should not have propagated the way it did. Obviously, our engineers are looking at that to determine why it propagated. Um, and so from our perspective, uh, we're looking to uh, make whatever changes need to be made uh, so that whenever those kinds of faults occur, we can contain those and really minimize the impact. He says load shedding had nothing to do with it, and they're doing the best they can with what they have. The COVID-19 situation at the breaking point for health officials, another 133 cases confirmed for Sunday, the highest single-day total since last year. The hospital is at capacity for COVID patients. There are more than 1,500 active cases to monitor now. New restrictions in place now in the capital and some other islands as the government's tries to slow the spread. Prime Minister Minnis scheduled to give a national address on the situation tomorrow night. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Some of those new restrictions being questioned already. Church officials are concerned about the time limit for services. PLP officials say some of the restrictions don't make any sense to them. Deputy Leader Chester Cooper's view on one of them. So how do you say to a canvasser, that you cannot canvass unless you're vaccinated? Or how do you say to a candidate uh, that you cannot canvass unless you are uh, vaccinated? There has to be something legally and constitutionally wrong with that. Party officials urging persons to follow the guidelines while they check the legal status. COVID-19 impacting the U.S. Embassy project on Shirley Street here in the capital. Embassy officials have confirmed that work has stopped there temporarily following suspected cases. They're checking. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune 242 dot com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management. No systems in the area now. Partly sunny chance of pop-up showers. Highs in the upper 80s. 88 at Freeport, 89 in the capital, 88 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots. The seas 2 to 4 feet. Next time is a high around 11 this morning. Next low about 5 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight. Lows from the upper 70s to low 80s. No systems in the tropics. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, call Insurance Management. We're now in the hurricane season. Insurance Management urges you to check your preparations and ensure that your home and contents coverage is up to date. Call them today. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Selling a car, lot, home, or computer? Call us today. The Tribune Classified Trader. 502-2351. Your number one source for buying and selling items in the Bahamas. If you really want to sell your personal items, then the Tribune Classified is the answer. Pick up a copy Monday through Saturday in the Bahamas' leading newspaper. The Tribune. The People's Newspaper. Tuesday's world news headlines so far so good for the Olympic Games in Tokyo. During the pandemic, most events are being held without spectators. There are no reports of any coronavirus problems so far. Recovery efforts continue in India following flooding and landslides triggered by monsoon rain there. Close to 150 persons are confirmed dead. The U.S. and China continue high-level talks with both sides criticizing each other openly. Tribune's gas tracker prices for Tuesday, Shell 513, SO 517, Rubus $5.18 per gallon here in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section Team Bahamas in competition in Tokyo at the Olympic Games. Get the latest on Joanna Evans in swimming. Find out where she finished 
overall and get the rest of the Olympic Games news also. We have another pro baseball player. Find out who he is and get the latest on Major League Baseball. The Red Sox stay hot. And see the pictures from the ladies' bodybuilding trials. Find out who will represent the Bahamas in upcoming international competition. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online all day at Tribune242.com.